hello <laughs> welcome back to another video we are going to set our goals for the week today is sunday and i'm going to share my goals for the week and i would want you to share your goals for the week as well i apologize in advance for my lack of enth lack of enthusiasm i've been struggling with extreme fatigue and extreme fatigue to the point where I don't want to hold a conversation with anybody and dizziness as well. So I apologize for my monotone voice even more than usual and for sounding so tired, but we are going to set some goals for the week and not in our mind, but put it down on paper. It's what I did earlier today. Sorry if you hear a lot of sound in the background. The cats are just being cats. <laughs> I bought a little microwave today and they are in the box having fun. Let me know if you like this ambiance with the candle in the background. How is that? <laughs> Let me stick to the topic here. I made some bullet points today and let's start with our goals. I'm going to share my goals, wrote them down and any time that <laughs> any time that I write down my goals and share them to the world, it gives me accountability and maybe this will do the same for you. These are also some things I'm sharing as in, I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble with train of thought. Some confessions per se. The number one goal this week is to cut out snacks and sugar. Someone commented on my round face. I, I am experiencing a lot of inflammation and weight gain, body fat gain to be exact. I've gained about 30 pounds over the last year, 30 pounds. I will confess that I get stressed out over income, over finances, and I just immediately resort to snacking, particularly on sweets and junk food. Some of my favorites are Rocky Road ice cream from Brahms. If you know Brahms, familiar with Brahms, Rocky Road. Uh, Sunday is my go-to with caramel instead of hot fudge, caramel, caramel. I don't know, but that is my go-to. I may be feeling stressed. I may be feeling lonely, and then I'll eat that. Snacks when I'm at work, I'll get, again, bored or, or stressed out or whatever, and I'll walk next door and get some, my favorite Takis. Can we agree that Takis are so good? My mouth is watering just thinking about it. But the goal this week is to cut that out. I've been studying inflammation, and part of that is all those foods, really, they have no nutritional value. They're very calorically dense, meaning for a small amount, it's high in calories, no beneficial, no nutrients. What's good is just the instant high, I guess. It's just tasty, whatever. Other than that, nothing good comes from it. Lack of fiber, so high in calories, but lack of fiber so your body doesn't really digest it well and it may explain a lot of the breakouts that I'm having uh, you can't really tell from this distance but there we go and not not so much on this side. It's mainly on this side. So that definitely I know will make a difference. I know how to eat to feel my most optimal self. But I'm human. And as I've stated, I've put on 30 pounds. And I do resort to, I do stress eat. 
snacks, candy, whatever. But I feel so uncomfortable. I'm ready to cut it out. And if you're going to have this goal, have some compassion for yourself. If you end up, say, you, your goal is to cut this stuff out and you end up having a cookie or a, a candy or something, have some compassion and, and st- have a plan. So instead of being mean to yourself, oh, I messed up, I might as well just eat everything now and, and just start next week. Maybe write it down. What was the thought? I wrote a, whole, I wrote an, a book about this, an ebook about this years ago when I overcame emotional eating at that time. But I'll link the book in the description box if anyone wants to read it. It's a short read. I think it's like $2 or $3. But that book is about emotional eating, so I need to reread my own book. Anyways, that's one goal this week. Tomorrow, we're going to go to the grocery store and meal prep. It's my day off, and I'm going to show you what I buy if you want. Comment below if you want to see that video of me going to the grocery store and what I buy and what I plan to eat. I've been doing research on inflammation in the body when you're in a stress mode for a long time. Sorry, I get get out of breath. When you're in stress mode for a long time, whether it be anxiety or whatnot, eventually it starts affecting your adrenals. I'm not a doctor. I've just read this stuff and learning about this. And that actually causes inflammation in the body. Can be seen as breaking out, puffiness, swelling, Joint pain, which is something I experience going down those stairs in the mornings. My, my ankles hurt. My joints hurt. So that's something I'm experiencing right now. This is very long-winded for just one, <laughs> one thing that we're doing this week. We're cutting out the snacks. No talkies. No sweets. And just see how we feel. It's not a diet per se where, oh, I'm going to lose five pounds this week. No, we want to see how we feel. I feel so exhausted, guys. So, so tired. (sighs) I'm tired of feeling tired. Going to snack on some yogurt with some frozen berries. Yeah. Mm, Okay. We are also going to wake up earlier. You've been watching my videos. You know I talked about depression and sleeping in as much as possible to avoid the day and just not wanting to do anything. So I wrote it down. My goal is to wake up earlier and get some sunlight, even if it's five minutes. Even if it's five minutes, get that circadian clock going and adapt it to waking up early versus waking up at 10, sometimes noon, just being real. Confession slash sharing goals. We're doing at the same time, confessing what really is going on and how we're wanting to improve it. I can improve it. You can. I, I've had depression so bad this year where I don't even want to take a shower. That's embarrassing to admit. But I'm continuing to be honest. The goal is also to vlog more, make more videos that will help other people. Instead of consuming content, making more content. Here's another confession. I'll be at work and if it's slow, I'm just scrolling on TikTok. I don't post on TikTok. I did last year when I was doing my summer shredding or whatever but now I I use it just I don't know I just started scrolling and it's so addictive it's so addictive and it started to become a habit has been a habit and it's just pointless stuff that's not helping me at all so part of the goal this week is instead of scrolling on pointless content, creating more content, and if I do consume content, it's 
educational. Let's take a break to take a sip of some tea. This is ginger tea, no caffeine. More on that later. And it's so the I've noticed that I'm relying on that to just to keep me interested throughout the day. I could be talking to family and then I'm just like, oh, this conversation's boring, TikTok. Because that's where I'm getting my dopamine. It's starting to become a habit, has become a habit. So less scrolling, more educational content that is uplifting or going to add value or I'm going to learn, for example, with this inflammation or whatever is going on, learning what foods can I eat? so I can combat the inflammation and feel a little bit better. Maybe that's why I feel so exhausted the way I'm eating or what I'm not eating and learning more about inflammatory foods, which leads me to the grocery haul for tomorrow. I'm going to buy some foods that are more towards that anti-inflammatory. And we're starting out today with this is ginger tea with just a little bit of honey. Careful with the honey. It does have calories. It's easy to consume more calories. But that helps with inflammation. When you're, when you're not eating nutritious foods, that also impacts recovery. You're going to the gym. That does impact recovery. And I am going to the gym. Have been consistently going. And continue to plan to continue doing that but if I'm not eating enough and overworking my body that actually is going to stress your body out even more if you're under eating and then working out say an hour hour and a half a day and you're not nourishing your body enough that actually puts more stress on it so you're doing yourself more harm if that makes sense and we are also going to set a goal. I know I tell you guys that I do not make money off of YouTube because I have a thousand subscribers doesn't make doesn't mean I make money off of YouTube. I don't. But that is the goal. I do want to monetize my YouTube channel. I do because what that means is that I will get to invest more up here. I want to get therapy. I want to, you know, continue to invest in my mind my mental health, because then the information I learn and implement, I can share and help other people as well. So the criteria for monetizing your YouTube channel is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So you could hit the subscriber count like myself, over a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for all the, the people that are subscribed. But I haven't met the watch time. And where I am on that journey is out of 4,000 watch hours, excuse me, I'm at 1,700. So the goal for this week is to get to 1,800. And in order to make money off of YouTube, you have to hit the 4,000 watch hours. But you also have to have a bunch of views. I don't have a lot of views, which I'm okay with. I rather slowly attract my people than just a bunch of people that aren't really my people, if that makes sense. But that is how you monetize it. But YouTube does have something where if you meet 3000 watch time hours, which I'm closer to than 2000 or than 4000. If we meet 3000, I can sell merch through YouTube, which is awesome because we already have I'll insert it somewhere here. I already have my brand. Maybe I'll rebrand. That'd be cool. Not right now. Have my brand and I could have that on hats or shirts. And that would be awesome to see people wearing that. And what that means is MP, make progress. NP, not perfection. So we're not focusing on being perfect. We're just sm focusing on small wins. That's why it has that arrow. We're just making progress slowly. So that would be amazing if we could sell merch and also have memberships and all this. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm sounding greedy, 
but that is my goal to is to monetize this channel so i i don't want to work corporate for the next 30 years of my life i'd rather just die i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't imagine just 30 more years of that if if here's some man manifesting and maybe you can manifest as well i would love to monetize to the point where I can go back to school and get a master's degree and myself going through depression and anxiety, working on that first and then getting a degree so I can help other people with that as well. But that's more long term down the road. All this is very possible. It's very attainable. And if I'm here making this video, you can do it, too to sound not to try and sound cliche but you can do it too i'm sorry i'm i get so tired <laughs> even talking is exhausting but it's very possible guys write down your goals there's something about putting it on paper that makes it more uh i don't know the word right now it helps with mindfulness, mindfulness. And there's just something about putting it on paper that just works better for me. All right. So those are the goals for this week. Cut out snacks and sugar. Wake up at 7.50 a.m. Don't be mean. Have some compassion if you have a cookie or if you wake up a little later than you said you would. Because already if I wake up at 8.30, I'm not going to be mean to myself and say, oh, I didn't wake up at 7.50. Okay, I woke up at 8.30, but I also didn't get up at 10 or noon like I normally do. Less scrolling, more educational content instead of mindless scrolling to be specific. Create more content. Maybe you can do the same. I know some of you that watch my channel have YouTube channels as well. I need to sip one moment. This is so good. I bought this today. It says, let it be with <laughs> some bees. <laughs> and, oh, I just, I'm all over the place. All right. Content, consume more anti-inflammatory foods. We want to reach our goal of 18,000 watch time hours. How am I going to reach that? By consuming less, creating more. And I read your comments, so I wanted to take the time to read two comments because when I post a video and then the next day I read the comments and I think my videos are pretty boring, not too entertaining, but people find them relatable. I'll get an email or I'll get a comment that says, thank you for uploading this. I watched it all. Or can you make more? Even if people unsubscribe or I don't have a bunch of views, that really motivates me because it's, I feel like I'm contributing in some way when I feel like my life has been so pointless, to be honest. And that's been part of why I've been so depressed. I feel like I'm living just a pointless life. So I'm going to read some comments that you guys have left that really keep me motivated and make me want to make these videos so not in any particular order or rank just reading off my laptop that's in front of me i really like this comment and it says you're starting to get a moon face i've never seen your face so round lol is it your medications or maybe you're not working out enough i know i know well i am working out i've been eating crappy and maybe my body's inflamed. I don't know. I'm not taking medications. Maybe long-term stress is doing that in combination with the junk food. So I appreciate your honesty because it sounds like you've been following me for a while for you to say that you've never seen my face this round. Well, this is the heaviest I've ever been in my 32 years of life. I'm 158 pounds, so... No worries. I know what to do. I'm not going to be rushed on. Let me lose 30 pounds. It's just one day at a time. <laughs> I'm working on just staying consistent with getting out of bed and taking a shower. Okay. So 
Next comment. I really like this one. And let me find it. M maybe I've lost it. Okay. If you keep posting, I'll keep watching. You help me make you you help me by making me want to post shit. I don't really cuss anymore, but that's what it says. You're saying all the right things. Shit sucks sometimes, but we're only ones ultimately responsible for that. Right on. I just journaled before watching this and I won't share either. I'm not at the same stage as you on this thing, but I can relate somewhat. Hey, life is hard enough. You don't need to kick your own ass needlessly. See you on the next one. All right. And another thing I wanted to add, this is such a long video. Thank you if you're still here. Topics. I always ask what topics you want me to cover on the next video. And here are some of them that I wrote down as I journaled this morning. The reality of depression. I can talk about it. The not wanting to shower, like basic things, my experience and how I'm improving. I can share that. My current depression symptoms and what I'm doing to try and get better when I'm not taking medication or getting therapy, which that is my goal. I really want to get therapy. Another topic idea is quitting my corporate job, updates on that, and my prior earnings <laughs> versus my current earnings. Clearly, <laughs> they are laughable, but we're going to get through this. What is helping me slowly get better, all right? I appreciate all the support. Not the coolest videos. Thank you for the moon face comment. We're working on it. I love your honesty, though. I'm going to drink this tea, edit this video, eat this yogurt. Yes, that is a paper plate because I do not want to wash dishes. I know that sounds horrible, not wife material, lazy blah 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 those dishes will be in the sink for like two weeks okay just being real so i want to make sure that i'm not using that as an excuse and yeah fruit yogurt protein fiber support thank you for it okay one day at a time make progress not perfection Let's get this video watched. Can you watch it all the way through? We can hit that 18,000 hours watch time. Sell some merch. Spread the good word. We're going to get better. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>